been a great Aren't addition. Fish people, man. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Bentley, and we're going to start my coverage of Keystone Clash with this video. There'll be a couple different videos, but I really wanted to start with something kind of special. Normally in the past, I do interviews of all the creators that are at any given event, or at least a large number of them, and do something funny. I didn't do that this time. There was one person in the vendor room that I really had to talk to on camera, and that is Lily of Lily Ichthyology. She has this incredible project going, and after she told me what she was doing, I said, can we do an interview on camera? I really want to spread what you're trying to do because I believe in your project. And she said, thank you. And also, she had these amazing pins that you could donate money to her project for and get some pins. So I have a few for giveaways because I just slapped 100 bucks cash on her and said, here, I believe in you. Let's do this thing. And... Here's the first two. So we've got this amazing arowana and one of my favorites of all her pins, a cyano dorsalis pseudomagill. Pretty sweet, right? Uh, I'm going to ship these anywhere as long as it will allow me to ship. So no matter where you are in the world, you can enter. I will cover the cost of mail, no matter what that may be. Stay tuned to the very end of this video to learn about the details about how to enter this contest. But more importantly, while we're having this interview with Lily, I'm also going to put up some video of the different aquascapes from the aquascaping contest. So just so you understand why the visuals might change, that's how. Pay attention to those while you listen to Lily's thing. And if you're interested in supporting Lily, there's a link to the Lily Ichthyology website down below if you want to learn more about the project. Sign up, donate, whatever you'd like to do, however you'd like to support. I think it is a really, really awesome thing that she's doing. And uh, yeah, I'm already signed up. So with that being said, let's listen to what Lily has to say and an explanation of this amazing project. Hello, um, I'm Lily from Lily Theology, and I just graduated university. Um, the Lily Theology nonprofit is a project that I started while I was in university. I did it as my undergraduate thesis, and it's for the conservation of freshwater species. So the main part of the project right now is a database that's almost like Wikipedia, but for fish. So information is constantly being updated and maintained and checked by other people rather than just being one person's opinion, and then you have to check 17 different sites to get even some sort of a consensus. It's meant to be a bridge between hobbyists and researchers, because uh, researchers will think that hobbyists don't have enough scientific rigor, and hobbyists think that researchers can't possibly know what they're doing because they don't actually keep the fish. Uh, so it's kind of to help uh, bridge that gap between them and to really foster that collaboration. You, you have this really awesome thing where if I sign up, I can add my information to broaden how we keep fish and our different experiences. You want to talk a little bit about the, the features of what you've got and what makes it such a cool project? Yeah, so the first person to submit an entry, uh, it goes to admin approval. So that way we're kind of mitigating any sort of spam attempts or anything like that. Then once the species has been approved, anyone can add an entry to it. So on the species page, it shows uh, the IUCN status, all of the care requirements, temperament, size, and then there's a space for additional comments for, for individual people to kind of share the way that they keep the species. Then there's also breeding information, so spawning type, spawning triggers, um, clutch size, things like that. And then there's a map that shows you where you can find them in the wild and pictures at the bottom that you can cycle through. So on every picture, there's a caption and a photographer label. So all the credit goes to whoever took the picture, and the label helps people identify things in their own tanks. So adult male, adult female, spawning pair, spawning group, fry, um, dominant male, submissive male, things like that, um, to help people identify those behaviors in their own tanks. And then they, in turn, can contribute to the database so the amount of information grows. If you disagree with anything that's on the main page, you can hit the Submit and Edit button. And what that does is it lets you change any of the information that you see to what you think it should be. And then that is put as a log at the bottom, and then you can scroll through and look at everybody's logs um, and kind of see what overlaps, what doesn't, and what might work for you rather than somebody else. Awesome. And then if somebody wants to help support your project, they want to participate, uh, 
just tell let's let's talk about ways that people can engage with this awesome work that you're doing. Yeah, so all of the information is on my website. If you just look up Lilliac Theology, you should be able to find it. But the most important part is getting people to start using the database uh, because it is community moderated and community focused. It can only work if the community uses it. <laughs> Thank you. I thought that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> So getting people to really sign up and start using it and sharing their own information, it was designed to be as simple as possible. Um, the fields are all very clearly labeled, and once a species is already in the database, you don't even need to re-input all the information. When you hit submit and edit, all of the information comes pre-filled, and you just change what you think needs to be changed. So that way, you know, you don't have to do hours and hours of work. Uh, submitting a picture is also really easy, things like that. Um, then I also sell these little pins as kind of a fundraiser for the project. Most of this comes out of my own pocket, so anything that I can do to offset the cost. Um, I pick different endangered species and work with different kinds of artists uh, from across the world, actually, to make these pin designs. And they pick either their favorite fish or a fish that's local to their area. And then they make the design. And then I get the pins made, and I can sell them and use them as fundraisers for the nonprofit. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lily, and uh, we'll have all your information down below, and also, I'll be giving some of your pins away. So Great. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, there you go. There is the wonderful Lily. I, I, I can't, I cannot gush enough. She was such a wonderful person to talk to. Her dog is adorable. <laughs> Her poodle is just super cute. Very well behaved. She does a lot of dog training, but also... These pins. I have three more that I'll be giving away throughout the rest of the Keystone Clash videos. But two for her project specifically because why not, right? So with that being said, here is how you can enter into this giveaway. Anywhere in the world, I will mail these to you. Pretty simple. Down below, put hashtag Lily followed by which aquascape you think should have won the aquascaping contest. And you don't need to do this based on like any judging excuse. Just which one did you like the most? Which one would you want to take home? If you were to be able to take any of those tanks home, which one would it be? That combination will enter you for the pins. And uh, this contest will run for a, until the end of October. Um, so until October 31st, and then I will, uh, use the YouTube comment picker that's out there, pick two comments that follow the rules, and from there, I'll get in contact with you. You will need to respond to me, uh, and I'll basically just say, hey, I need you to email me here so that I can get your shipping information and ship your prize to you. Stay tuned to all the rest of the videos in the Keystone Clash series. There will be one pin available in every additional video as a giveaway, and uh, I saved some pretty awesome ones. So you might, might just want to be on the lookout for those. Let me know. Are you really interested in Lily's project? Do you like it? Do you think it's fascinating like I do? Maybe you're just like, ah, I'm not so interested. Tell me in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And stay awesome. Don't run, crab, no.